Welcome into your PFF prospect profile. Today it's all about Alabama interior defensive lineman Deron Payne. And a guy that, you know, we've seen Alabama guys come out these last couple years. Interior lineman Jonathan Allen, Ashawn Robinson, Jaron Reed. How does Payne stack up to those guys? Don't compare him to Jonathan Allen, by the way. He was in a whole different league. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he's better than Ashawn Robinson and Reed coming out. A little a step behind Jonathan Allen, obviously, from a, a grading standpoint, technique standpoint, a lot of standpoints. But I still kind of like Payne. There are some interesting things on tape with him. He's very technically sound. Everyone is coming out of Alabama. They played the run extremely well. But him as a pass rusher is a little intriguing because a lot of the times they're at Alabama, they're doing run reads. They're not shooting gaps. Right. They have to control the guards. They have to control the centers. They have to control whoever they're lined up on first off the snap. And then they get to rush the passer. In the national championship game, he got to fire off the line of scrimmage a little bit. He got to shoot some gaps at times. And he looked like a completely different player in that game, set career highs for pressures with seven, set career highs for run stops with six, all in one game, and then the biggest stage. And so when you watch that game and you watch the rest of his tape, it's like two different people, and that's what's the toughest thing for me to sort of wrap my head around who exactly is he. So let's go back and unpack this whole Alabama thing, because I don't like to do same school scouting, and it, it's lazy sometimes, yes. unless you're comparing what a guy's – asked to do. So I think yeah. when it comes to comparing to him to Ashawn Robinson, Jaron Reed, and throw Dalvin Tomlinson in that mix as yes. well. Tomlinson didn't get the same type of hype mm -hmm. as Robinson and Reed, but he actually at the NFL level has been a more productive player. Our grades for the last three years have been kind of right on with those guys. Robinson and Reed, both in a similar range, both in, you know, in college in the NFL. Tomlinson actually graded a little bit better in a couple areas than those guys. That's translated at the NFL. So Deron Payne has graded better than all of those guys. So if, if he's going to be a tick better than those guys, that's a pretty solid player. But it's still a guy that we probably value in the second round unless we get to this whole, well, they're two-gap and they're reading, as you said, the run reads. If he can be unleashed, does he have those heavy hands, the quick hands to be able to rush the passer at the next level? It is a, good, it is a question mark, but... I'm less likely to take that one game scouting and project it too far forward. Yeah, it is tough. And that's why I said I just don't know which one I'm going to get, but I like that I've seen that high level already. Yeah, like, absolutely. I, I like that, and I like the fact that he played basically everywhere up and down that Alabama defensive line. If you've got a team that you know uses your defensive lineman in a bunch of different techniques, he can do that. He can basically do anything you ask of him, play over the tackle, play over the guard, play over the center, and still be a productive player. It's just can he – be productive as a pass rusher because not a lot of those Alabama guys have come into the NFL and then been productive as a pass rusher. They're just not, it hasn't necessarily translated as well as that run defense has for those guys. Yeah, so he's got the solid run grade. I'm reading it right out of here uh, in our PFF draft guide as part of Edge and Elite at ProFootballFocus.com. That 83.9 pass rush grade, that is better than we saw from Ashawn Robinson and Jaron Reed mm -hmm. and some of the other interior guys that have come out of Alabama. So I think that's the one thing that gives a little bit of hope for the next level. I love reading your scouting reports, Mike. The tackle radius, that's my scouting term. That's you said term. it's fantastic. Yep. That's essentially, he can make plays up and down the line of scrimmage. And I think when we're talking about run defenders, it's about being able to beat blocks, destroy blocks, but also finish plays. And it seems like he does have that too. 9.2% run stop percentage. That was 19th in the class. That's, that's pretty solid for that interior D-line. Yeah, he's so great at controlling offensive linemen. Even in the past game, he's great at controlling offensive linemen. But it's just the athleticism, I'm not sure he necessarily has that sort of after he gets sort of initial separation. A lot of times he ended up getting washed out of place because he couldn't cleanly separate himself from the offensive lineman as a pass rusher. Would love to see him do that more consistently. But didn't test terribly. he tested as a fairly all right athlete at the combine, so maybe he still has some room to improve there. That, that would be my one question compared to some of those other guys. They seemed like they were so good at mm -hmm. initiating contact, shedding blocks you know, in, uh, you know, at the line of scrimmage, rarely getting moved. Payne got moved a little bit more than those guys. Not so much just last year, but in 2016 and 15 as well when he was mm -hmm. playing more of a part-time role. So, Deron Payne, he's getting a lot of first-round hype, but I think we still look at him as more of a second-round player unless you could duplicate that national championship dominance. That's Deron Payne, Alabama interior defensive lineman.